YouTubers, welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. Thank you, Patreon supporters, for supporting me for this coffee. I get my coffee paid by my Patreon supporters, and I want to thank you guys for that, and it means a lot to me. Anyways, they're already playing Christmas music on three stations already here. They want to get people all Christmassy nice and early. Heck, who cares about Halloween? Heck, who cares about uh, uh, Remembrance Day? Who cares about all that stuff? We need to go straight to Christmas now. Uh, the second fall hits. Why? Because our economy. We want to get people uh, motivated and, and motivate um, consumer confidence to get people to buy more and to get to people to to uh, spend more, get people to uh, invest more in, in, in family gifts and keep the economy going. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's almost like Canada. We created 40,000 new jobs last month. All public sector. Woo! Who cares? Nobody cares about more public sector jobs. Anyways, okay, back to scratch. Now, I got a lot of feedback on the video I did last night, uh, yesterday, I did one video yesterday, I was really slammed yesterday at the shop. Um, Fridays are really busy for me. Uh, but I did a video about, uh, I paid my rent, now I'm getting evicted. Well, for people to clarify, it's um, emails I've been receiving from people. I received two emails originally about people who ended up paying rent and the rent seemed very inexpensive. But the person that, that it was subleasing wasn't paying the rent to the original owner. So I hope you got that in a nutshell. So somebody would go out and this is, this is what, okay, so I got an email from someone in Vancouver. They told me the same thing. This is what happened, okay? The guy was, the guy I guess was uh, uh, posing as a foreign investor and he can't keep his property vacant anymore because the vacant buyer's tax or the vacant vacant owner's tax. And he got a, uh, a family, uh, it was a young girl, and then her dad was gonna just come and visit because she was gonna be studying. Uh, I think she was from Alberta. And then what happened was she ended up signing um, a lease with somebody, and it's, it sounded too good to be true, it was a one bedroom. And then after, uh, there was a problem because the, the he didn't own the building, he actually subleased it to her, but wasn't paying the rent, so he got the first last month's damage deposit and up to six months up, up front. Uh, for rent. Oh, you know, I don't come uh, often and if you could afford it, it's better that you don't have to worry about paying bills for a while and blah, blah, blah. And because you're a student, you need the extra money for food and blah, blah, blah. Man, they already know. They already know the way they talk to people that I know you have no money. I already know you're on, on the skids and you're, you're, you're trying to get by and get an education, but I'm still going to, I'm still going to squander a couple of thousand more off you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. And I got another one from somebody in Manitoba. This happened in Manitoba. Somebody emailed me uh, yesterday. And this happened to somebody in Alberta. And emailed me too that they were screwed over. And then and then when they called the police, um, the police did look into it. But apparently they've done it to like 30, 30, 40 people. And they, they I guess they skipped town, right? So they're going to be like vultures uh, picking the bones off the uh, off the working poor middle class people. We don't have a, a middle class wealth anymore. Middle class wealth is finished. Merry Christmas, it's gone. Now we are in working class poor. Working poor. That's what we are. So that's where we're at. I've been calling that for I've been calling working poor for many years now. Uh, if you guys remember that video I did where the price of food is skyrocketing. That's another topic for another day, guys. So anyway, so all these people are getting juped or chipped, or uh, screwed, or getting the wool the wool pull, pulled over their eyes, you know, or it's kind of questionable how, you know, so let me tell you my, and I said, now let me tell you guys my story when I moved from Vancouver from Miami. Okay, so I, I, I lived in Miami, I had a company, I had everything, and now I had, uh, I was making sure, I did everything by the book, I hired a lawyer, I had a big corporation sponsor me and everything. And uh, the second uh, I got thing, I was gonna shut my place down and go work for this big corporation down, on the, down in South Florida. And uh, yeah, okay, everything's cool, no problem, right? And uh, I pay a lawyer, then I had to make sure I wasn't stealing an American's job. I did the whole six month program, did the whole thing. And then boom, boom. I went to the thing, the, 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 what do you call it? Interview. And they said they weren't taking my kind now. Morning, morning. Hi, can I get an extra large dark roast with one cream? 
and that's it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to throw that out there. So I wasn't stealing. I went, did everything by the book, and I was going to hire Amer Americans to work for my company and the whole nine yards. And hi. then I was going to sublet a part of the corporation I was with. Thank you. Have a good day. So I was going to sublet a, a portion of the co a corporation to a satellite, a satellite location. That was the deal. And it was a good deal, too. It was a good deal financially for me, too. Especially when you could buy a house in Florida for next to nothing, right? And you could live a decent life for next to nothing. Like, literally, in comparison to here. I mean, to anywhere in Canada. So, anyways. So, okay. I, I, find, I found a leasing company. A company. I paid for it. So, I started calling places for availability. And it was all Chinese people I called. Everyone I called, I called, I called, I called. Then I called the credit card company saying, these guys charge me $15.95 to find rent in Vancouver uh, to see listings and stuff. It was based out of China. And all the places I called, uh, no one spoke English. And none of the places were up for lease. It was just a company that created this website to get people to the, and then it was it was based out of China, they were charging, so I, I canceled the credit card and they couldn't give me a refund because it was a service they provided me. I was so mad, it was like 1999 and they were charging per month if you didn't cancel it, eh? So they had these little scams going, it's really cute, taking money from people that don't have it, I love it. Okay, so, let's, let's, let's spin things around a bit. Did that, okay. So then, when I then I found a, 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 a legit company, and they go in, take photos of the place, and this and that, and they deal with a lot of people in, uh, 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 immigrating to Vancouver and stuff, and finding them places, and blah blah blah. So I found that company. I got everything straightened out with them. I paid the first and last month's rent. I put I paid the damage deposit. I sent them a check. I had everything ready to go. Uh, I gave them all the references. I took care of everything for them for them. No problems, right? I gave him even a void check to take the rent out. Everything was good to go, right? Right, right, right. Okay. But something happened. When I got to Vancouver, we we're finding the place and we were supposed to move in that day. So I had everything ready. I had my car because I drove up. I took a five day trip. I took my time driving across. And I got there and then. Uh, I'm waiting to move in. Okay, I'm going to be moving in. He said at noon. I, I get there and he's like, he's not moved out. So you're going to have to stay in a hotel for two to three days. I'm like, but I already paid for my rent and he, well, too bad. He he he's, he didn't move out and, and I'm having a hard time getting him out of the, the unit. I'm like, okay, you're going to prorate the rent? Just at least, you know, so I can use, you know, are you going to paint the place? Any, nothing. The guy never painted the place. Anyways, so <clears throat> listen to this. <clears throat> I told him, I said, okay, all right, that's fair enough, uh, whatever. He's like, you know, if you give me a hard time, I'm going to cancel the lease on you and I'm going to keep your money. Hand to God on my dad's dead soul, on my dad who passed away two months ago. Hand to God, he said that to me. I'm going to keep your first and last month and damage deposit and uh, all your, all your, all your, hand to God, right here, that, that he said that to me. I'm like, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, dog. I'm just telling you, like, like, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get things working here. I paid you for it, and now I'm not getting what I, you know. And then ever since then, I realized what Vancouver was. It's a big scam job. It's a city of scam jobs. So, it's a city of scam jobs. So, yeah, I, I wanted to throw that out there. I wanted to throw that out there, guys, because I was pretty mad at that. I'm still mad at that. He was going to take almost 3000 maybe 4000 bucks off me. Um, you know, because because he basically um, has the power to. And he knows the police won't do nothing. If I call it in, the police will say, that's your problem. And if you become homeless, that's your problem too. But, you know, the police don't. The police, we're going to do a whole video on what, what, what's the point of the police. Because uh, I've been harassed here in town since I moved in. Since, no, since I've opened my store. Somebody uh, owns a similar store to mine in town, and ever since I've opened this store, it's been pretty much, it's pretty been pretty much a challenge to not find a day that goes by where I don't get harassed, right? So, or the dirty, the dirty post that was made about me, and then there's the, um, 
thedirty.com. Type go in there. Type in Mike Martins. Uh, what else? Uh, just just oh my cease and desist letter that's up on my window for people to read. People have been taking photos and reading it. So good. What else? I don't know. Just things like that. Just stupidity. Utter stupidity. Stupidity. Uh, and, and the police say, you know, you know, he sees you, he gives you the finger. That's just, so basically what they're saying is if a cop drives by, I could just do this to them because somebody in town could do that to me every time they see me or, and do it to my wife. But they say that's just forming an opinion and flipping the bird is not illegal. But when you get it every time you see this guy, it's like, how does it work? Like, so can I do this to the police when they, when, when I see them drive by, I go like this every time. Maybe, and then when they stop it, they go like, what's your problem? I'll be like, oh, no, I'm just, 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 just saying that, you know? You, you know, there's a guy in town that's been doing it to me for three years now. Um, is there anything, you know, this is a nice thing to do. Anyways, here's the Merit, Merit Harassment series. Check it out, guys. You can see what I've been going through. It's a long series. It's really good. Watch it to the end. There's like 20 episodes. It's really good. Watch it. Here's the Merit Harassment series. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.